What's up, guys? It's the Delinquent Dungeon here, and today we are. Let me try the intro again. Today we are going to be talking about, if you didn't see the title, top ten or my top ten favorite Cartoon Network shows. I know this is off topic from Total Drama and WWE very rarely, but I mean, I just love Cartoon Network. It's just my favorite channel. It's literally the only channel I watch. But there's been horrible shows and there's been great shows. Today, I'm going to be talking about top 10 best Cartoon Network shows in my opinion. And if you hear a lot of shows from nowadays, it, if you haven't noticed, do I look like I've been around since like the early 2000s? I'm not even a teenager, so that's probably why a lot of nowadays shows are on it, but I do like some classics. So here we go. Here is my top 10 favorite Cartoon Network shows. Number 10 is Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. This was a hard spot between a lot of iconic shows because I filled up the slots. But number 10, I had to go with Foster's. It's just a nice, heartwarming show. And, yeah, it's just really good. All the characters, I think, are great. I like Blue because he's just hilarious. I like Mac because he's just the tame character. I just like I like all the variety of different characters. They're just all amazing. It was just overall a great show for kids. Uh, it's it's good for older audiences too. You know you can watch any TV show at any age. And who cares if anyone judges you? But overall, Foster's was is just a great show. It's always sad to see a show that you love end. <coughs> Regular show. Uh, that is not hints at anything. Um, number ten, Foster's. Yeah, definitely deserves a spot on this list. Number nine has got to be. Crap, I forgot my... Crap, I forgot what I was putting. Hold on, guys. Let me just... Sorry, guys. I really just can't remember right now. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, I cannot remember what number nine is. But I have found a replacement. <clears throat> the replacement I'm going to put is over the garden wall. And that's probably very weird for a lot of people only has 10 episodes, but it was 10 episodes of a really good show. <coughs> Sorry if I cough, I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, Over the Garden Wall was 10 episodes of Mischief. It it felt like Gravity Falls, and I love Gravity Falls. So, yeah. I mean, it felt like Gravity Falls, just a lot shorter. And it was just great with all these great characters, that these two kids meet along the way. Sorry, I haven't watched it since like 2014 or 2013, whenever it came out. It's just a great adventure, or just, yeah, just a great adventure for these two kids. It's it's just, it was amazing. I wish it could have gone longer, but it was still just great. Ten episodes, I guess, was all it needed. So yeah, number nine for now is Over the Garden Wall. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep it at that. Number eight is got to be Wee Bear Bears. It's just, these bears are, these bears, P Panda, Grizz, and Ice Bear are just these three awkward bears trying to fit in with the world with humans. And it's just, <laughs> they're just great characters because they always fail in the end. It's just awesome. But in the end, they always learn a lesson or two about just having each other. And that's just great. That's all they need. And it's good. It's a funny show, and I would recommend all, I would recommend the show. I would re recommend all these shows. Uh, yeah. So number eight has got to be We Are Bear Bears. Number seven is Steven Universe. Don't hate. I know. I think a lot of people would say Steven Universe should be higher. My opinion. I feel like right now it's only at top ten favorite shows. I feel like. This kind of hurts me inside and wakes me kind of want to hurl. Steven Universe is a little bit overrated. I said it. I said it. It is still an amazing show. But people are treating it as if it's like Spongebob. As iconic as Spongebob was. I don't like Spongebob, but I know. It was just a great show. But just... I don't think it's as iconic as... As it is yet. I know it's been around four years. I still think it's a great show. But it it doesn't feel like... To me, it doesn't feel like an I, very, a very iconic show. It, it will get up there. 
it probably over the years, once it probably by the time it ends, it'll probably be a top three show at least. Because it's just a great show right now, but I feel like there's shows I like better right now. Steven Universe is just so interesting. It has a deeper meaning than a lot of people realize or a lot of kids realize. So that's why it gets number seven. Number six for me is the original Teen Titans. The original Teen Titans was freaking action-packed. It is the place to be if you like action-packed shows. Not crappy Teen Titans Go!, not freaking Ben Ted, not the reboot of Powerpuff Girls, not those crappy shows, the original Teen Titans, the one back in 2003, 2007. That show was, that was a show that's iconic. Steven Universe, iconic, I feel like Teen Titans was a little bit better. It's, it's basically Young Justice before Young Justice, and Teen Titans was just amazing. I'm so glad they air it again, too. It's just, it's a great show. I feel like that they should keep airing it, Cartoon Network. They should keep airing just shows from the past. But that's not what the point is. Teen Titans was just an absolutely iconic show. They ruined with this crappy Teen Titans Go. Stop the Teen Titans Go. We need more of the original Teen Titans. And, yeah, the original Teen Titans was just amazing. Uh, definitely deserves a sixth season. My opinion, it had the saddest ending to a cartoon. Not going to say it, because that's kind of wasting time. No, so yeah, number six is Teen Titans. For number five, it's got to be Codename Kids Next Door. This show, I am just... It's probably the show I'm most hung up on right now. It's the show I've been watching the most, because it's just a great show. I think it's cool, and it's very interesting, and all these characters, I think, are amazing. All, like, my favorite is definitely number four. Love his accent. I love how funny he is. I just... I just like everyone from the Kids Next Door. Kids Next Door is just overall a great show. I really wish Galactic Kids Next Door would be uh, greenlit about Cartoon Network. I hate you, by the way, Cartoon Network. I mean, I love your shows and everything, but I just hate that you don't even care about fans. You only care about ratings. I respect that, though. But anyways, please, I just wish they would greenlight Galactic Kids Next Door. It's just an amazing show. You Kids Next Door was iconic. You want another iconic show? Galactic Kids Next Door. And you might be thinking, it would probably turn out to be a crappy reboot. Just look up Galactic Kids Next Door, and it'll show fan anim It'll say Galactic Kids Next Door fan animation. It's It actually looks like it's good. It's like three minutes long. It's not that long. It's just, it actually looks really good, like a pilot. I would really love to see Galactic Kids Next Door. But Kids Next Door overall was just an amazing show, and that's why it gets number five. Number four has got to be Total Drama. Total Drama, guys, I love Total Drama. But just to be fair, I can't put it at number one. I just can't. And I feel like the other three shows that are ahead of it are a little bit better. Total Drama really doesn't really need that much introduction, but if anyone doesn't know what it is, it's basically Survivor animated for kids. And it's also for all the older audiences, too. Uh, yeah, it's just a funny show, and it's just interesting. It's always very, very surprising who gets eliminated, unless it's some reason. Like, there's just tension between people, or something just goes wrong, and someone messes up on something. They're gonna go home. But usually, it's really... It's just it's just a really interesting show. I'm really excited for its sixth season coming up probably around next year or twenty or early twenty nineteen. And that's why it gets number four. Number three has gotta be Adventure Time. Adventure Time ever since I started liking Cartoon Network, the first show I watched on Cartoon Network was Adventure Time. Or it was Gumball. Either one. This show, Adventure Time, was amazing. My favorite part well, my favorite part of Adventure Time was got to be its first four seasons because I feel like its story with the Lich was probably the best. It's still a great show. It's I don't think it was as great as it was before. It is still one of my favorites, though. Adventure Time, all the way. It's just one of my favorite shows. It's just interesting and it's filled with all these great characters in this just great universe. So amazing. That the Simpsons made a reference on it, which was actually amazing, because you know how iconic the Simpsons has been. 
yeah, so overall, I think it's a really well-known show, and it was it's just an amazing show, and that's why I get to number three. Now, before I get to number two, this was a hard choice between these two shows. I'm not going to tell you which ones, though, because, so I can leave it as a surprise. These two shows I'm going to say next were just my absolute favorite. One of them has ended, one of them is still going, but it's about to end. So, yeah, here we go. Here is the top two. The top two. Number two is The Amazing World of Gumball. Gumball is currently my favorite show because it's just funny, and I think all of its episodes are really good. I There's not a single episode I really don't like. It's just, to me, it's it's almost a perfect show. I think it's just filled with all these great characters, uh, great episodes. That's why it's going to be so sad to see this show go. It's going to be so sad to see Adventure Time go, too. I should have mentioned that, but I was getting, I was busy telling, uh, building suspense for top two. Number two, Gumbo. Yeah, it was just a great show. It's going into its final season, and I am just so ready for its final season. It's going to be a great farewell, farewell Gumbo. Feels so young, but at the same time, it's been around for like six to seven years. So yeah, number two is Gumbo. For number one, here we go. The number one favorite Cartoon Network show is Regular Show. You probably picked that up from the little thing I said, or I didn't say anything, uh, from before. Regular Show. Just my favorite show of all time. I was devastated to see it go, but the same time, it kind of had to. It was in its eighth season, and the it was just getting only, uh, just getting less and less popular. Regular show in space, probably its worst season. I, I barely watched it from then. The more and more it came on, I feel like it kind of got worse. But to be honest, it was it's still a show that I appreciate. It is my favorite show of all time. That's what I'm gonna say. It is my favorite show of all time. It was, it was just so touching. I don't know if there will ever be a show to beat it. I, in my opinion, I don't think so. I feel like Adventure Time and Gumball definitely have a chance. In my opinion, I feel like Regular Show, in my heart, will always be the best show I've ever watched. Yeah. That's basically it for my top ten list. I know this video's been long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please leave... And in the comments below, what are your favorite shows? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.